Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about similar polygons. Similar polygons have congruent corresponding angles and proportional corresponding sides. What we mean by this is that if we take the two figures and turn them so that they're facing the same way, they appear to be the same shape. And when you have angles in the same position, they should be marked either with the same number of degrees or the same number of lines. Here, these are both marked with one line. These are both marked with two. These are both marked with three. These are both marked with four. If I had degree measures, say this and this were both um, 50 and this and this were both 100, that's okay too. But what matters is that the angles in the same position are marked the same way. Now, I'm going to explain proportional corresponding sides. If I took two sides that were facing the same way, that's what we mean by proportional, I mean by corresponding. They're going to be proportional if I divide them and I get the same answer. So if I could divide 5 by 10 or 2 by 4, see they're going the same way, 1 by 2 or 3 by 6, I get 0.5 no matter what. If I have similar polygons, I will get the same answer if I divide a side on the left by a corresponding side on the right. I'm going to do the same thing in order to find a missing side. I'm going to use a proportion. Here, the two triangles are facing the same way. So that means that I could divide 63 by 54 and get the same answer as if I divide 49 by this unknown number. So I'm going to compare the left triangle to the right triangle, and I'm going to compare the left sides first and the right sides second. So I have 63 divided by 54 would be the same as 49 divided by this unknown side, which we could call n. If I cross multiply 54 by 49 and divide by this uh, 63, because it's on the same diagonal as the variable, I would get my answer. n is 42. Now, if you want to use algebra, you would write 63 times n, because they're on the same diagonal, is equal to 54 times 49, because they're on the same diagonal. The cross products are equal. So we would multiply and then divide both sides by 63. I still get n is 42. And the reason why is because in both of these processes, I am multiplying 54 by 49, and I'm also dividing by 63 in both cases. That's the reason why I get the same answer, even though I use two different methods. Let's go on to the next example. Okay. On this triangle, all three sides are marked. On this one, the hypotenuse is not marked. So take the hypotenuse out of the picture. I have two legs, a long and a short, but here I have a short and a long. They're not facing the same way, so we can't compare them. But if I flip it over, they're facing the same way. So let's get rid of this triangle. And now we could compare the left leg and compare the right leg, or the long leg and the short leg. I could compare my left triangle to the corresponding side in the right triangle, 49 over n. The left triangle and the corresponding side in the right triangle, 35 over 30. Diagonally multiply and divide by 35, and you get n is 42 again. Now, if you want to use algebra, you would do 35 times n is 49 times 30. Multiply and divide both sides by 35. 
you get n is 42 and again you're doing the same operations 49 times 30 and dividing by 35. This is the end of my lesson. Thank you for watching and please use this to do your assignment. It will make it much easier. Stay safe and goodbye.